a few days ago, I, I, I started thinking about the COVID-19 and the struggles that people currently find themselves in as a consequence of the economic shutdown that came with COVID-19. And I realized that a lot of people were struggling. They were struggling to make ends meet. They were struggling to keep up with their lives. Some people are struggling with their finances. Some are struggling with their relationships. Some are struggling with actually getting started with, you know, they made plans, but because of the COVID and everything, their plans just went down the drain. And so I came to talk to you in case you're feeling like that way or maybe tomorrow you may start feeling that way that it's not the end of the road. Maybe things didn't go as you had planned. Maybe things are way worse than you had imagined. But even in the situ even in that situation, even in the point that you currently are, no matter how good or how bad that it looks, you can still be of help to someone else. And that is something you, we all need to remember in these times. I think that it's important that we begin to think in that way. Instead of being a reservoir, I need to be a river. A reservoir always works to contain what it has received. But the river keeps flowing. Wherever you are, however good, however bad things may look, I want you to continue to flow. Continue to give help. Continue to offer help. Even if people are not signing up for your paid courses, continue to show up live and share ideas and information. And don't hold, don't hold back. There's a story in the Bible about the prophet Elijah right and this widow in the bible the, the widow had just flour and oil to bake bread for herself and her son and they go and after that they can go die in peace that was her plan but then elijah comes comes away and tells her you know what go and use what you have to bake bread but before you and your son eat serve me first she obeyed, she served Jer Elijah, I keep saying Jeremiah, <laughs> it's because I like to talk about Jeremiah a lot, but he, she served Elijah and then Elijah said, go and borrow gallons and begin to pour the oil and don't stop pouring, borrow as many gallons as you can. She goes, borrows the gallons and starts to pour and as long as she kept on pouring, the oil kept on flowing. As long as she kept on pouring, the oil kept on flowing. The more she poured, the more the oil flowed. And so I want to encourage you, don't stop pouring. The only limit that you have is when you limit the vessels that you pour into. When you limit the number of vessels that you pour into, your oil stops flowing. Keep pouring. So that your gifts can keep flowing, so that your so that ideas can keep flowing, so that people can keep coming. Find more vessels and keep pouring. Be a river, not a reservoir.